So an array of former champions returned to Hua Hin to regain their precious Asian tour cards, including India's Gaurav Guy. Ahead of the Q School grind, he took to the beach to unwind a bit, and the 44-year-old's achievements have played a major role in putting India on the world golf map. But like most Indians, his first love was cricket. I used to play a lot of cricket in school. I used to love playing cricket. But when I used to come back from school, there were not too many kids my age in that area. And, uh, you know, I figured that golf was a game that you didn't need anybody else to play with. I used to just tag along with my dad, you know. Uh, he was a very keen golfer, he used to be playing six days a week. And uh, we used to live next to a golf course, and that's how I picked up the game. Gaurav believes that golf is a great character building sport. So it doesn't come as any surprise that he wants his nine-year-old son Raghav to follow in his footsteps. I think it's, it's an absolutely fantastic sport and I would love my son to play golf. Um, whether he wants to play it seriously and, you know, be a pro at it or whatever, that's up to him. He's got to make sure he's good enough to do that. Gaurav became serious about golf during his college years and a plan to pursue an MBA degree was put on hold for a year. After convincing his dad that he should take up the game professionally, he went on to excel in his rookie year. My first year that I turned pro, I, I really played well. I won a couple of times. I won a tournament in Delhi, which was my first win as a pro. Um, came out on the Malaysian local tour and won my first event I played there. At that time, I thought it was very easy, <laughs> so never looked back. Gaurav has won three times on the Asian Tour. His first victory came on home soil in 1995 in the form of the Gagil Western Masters, where he tasted success with an eagle chip on the 72nd hole. But he rates his most recent win in China above other titles. I would say my most cherished win would be the Pine Valley Beijing Open. The really uh, important thing about Pine Valley was you know, that I proved to myself that Mercury's Masters was not a fluke, that I could go out and win again. But the most memorable win of his career came in the 1996 Alfred Dunhill Cup in Scotland. In this 16-team event, India made a massive upset winning against the hosts, as 696th-ranked Gaurav defeated world number two, Colin Montgomery. That was special, you know, I mean, that was the first time I think uh, Indian golf was put on, on the front pages in India. I think Jeev and me were the only two guys who had won big events till then. It was always on the back page, you know, sports page, but I think uh, India beating Scotland at St. Andrews was the first time that golf actually came on the front pages, which was, which was really great for golf in India. Gaurav played his first major in 1997 as he returned to Scotland and qualified for the Open Championship at the Royal Troon Golf Club alongside Asian Tour colleague Marden Mamet. You know, obviously for me to go to Scotland and qualify and, you know, get into the Open was something fantastic. It was like, like a dream. But now that I look back at it, it was just so quick because, you know, I, I qualified on a Monday Tuesday morning we were on the golf course playing a practice round and uh, you know Thursday the tournament started. It was just so much packed into that week that you really didn't have time to enjoy the whole experience. But having said that, it was fantastic. Gaurav's career has been plagued by injuries at different times and that kept him away from the game for long periods. Also, his father passed away in 2009 and a hand injury followed the next year. Since then, Gaurav is struggling to regain his form. A change in grip has been his latest move to revive his chances. 2009 onwards, I had a really uh, rough time. Actually, you know, I'd been working with Claude Harmon for a long time. And then he, I think, moved back to, in 2009 to America. And I think uh, that was one of the reasons for the decline in my form. And uh, then 2010, I had a surgery on my hand, on my finger. I couldn't straighten my index finger for a while. So, you know, slowly my grip kind of uh, got into a bad position and uh, my, my game suffered. Start playing badly, your confidence takes a hit and uh, I've just been on a bad cycle. So just now I've started to feel a little better about my game. 
His gradual dip in performance meant he would lose his Asian Tour card for the first time since 2003. But the self-confessed James Bond fan says he's neither shaken nor stirred by the challenges of Q School. I just feel that coming to Q School, you know, I, I have to give myself a chance to get back on the Asian Tour. You know, I still feel I, I can compete on any given day with all the best players and until I believe that, you know, I, I, I'm going to give it a shot. His golf career may be on the road to redemption, but the 44-year-old is content with what he has achieved in the past two decades. No regrets. I've had a great journey. I've had a fantastic uh, you know, time playing pro golf, made a lot of friends through the years. So, you know, no regrets at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could have maybe won a few more events, but, uh, you know, that's, that's golf, that's life. And we'll find out in just a minute how Gaurav fared at Q School.